Hello guys and welcome to part five of our Boland's Husky 600 restoration. We've had another busy week in the workshop where we've been doing lots of different bits and pieces on all of the little bits that need doing. So I'm gonna run you through what we've been doing. Behind this exciting bit of cardboard, I know gripping suspense here to what's behind it, but we've got our engine and it looks a little bit different than when you last saw it. You ready? Here it goes. I know, look at that. It's great. It's all black and silver and gold on the old petrol tank. It's been cool. So what have we done to it? We have done the air filter housing, which we were doing in the last video, where I was doing a bit of welding on that. So that's all been powder coated. We've got the engine cowling, which is you saw in the last video, which again, it's all been powder coated. We've got the petrol tank on there. We've got brand new starter motor bracket in there, which I've welded up and got all that fixed on. Obviously, there's still nothing down here because I've got to fix that onto the frame somehow. And there was a little twisted bracket before. So I've got to work that out once it's all back together again, they're on the tubes and all installed. So that's one thing I'll need to do still yet. Spin it around, move these lovely little golden brackets out of the way. Oops, 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 oops. Stay still, oh, don't pull off. We've got our main pulley, which came off really easily, went back on. I powder coated that. Probably we're going to regret that because I think it's going to have too much traction on the belt, but we'll wait and see. We'll see what happens when we run that up. Cleaned up the engine best we can without having to strip it all down completely. And new fuel pipes all the way through. I've still got to sort out that. Still waiting for a few parts, hence why it's not finished. Got a heat shield here, the heat shield and carburetor gasket. I'm still waiting for. Um, so that's still coming. I've still got to sort out the exhaust. So I've got this nice bit of pipe in there instead of the box exhaust that was on the side, which is all too high. So the air filter is now down lower rather than being up here. And the exhaust where it's up here is going to come out the side and up. Or if I work out something just for it to come out the side, I'll work out one or the other. But we'll move on to that once we've got the machine back together and we've got the bonnet on to be able to work out what's going on on that. So that's one thing we've still got to do there. I think that's pretty much all. Oh, nice little shiny new spark plug in the top. But we're going to have obviously new air filter and everything on there and air filter housing or cover as well. So the air filter cover, where the choke cable used to go into, we've ever done it previously with this engine, cut and shut this so the choke cable could go through the air filter. We're gonna, I've ordered a new one of them, however long that will take because it's not in stock with Briggs in the UK. So we'll wait and see when that turns up, unless someone knows of one lying around somewhere, which should be perfect. But anyway, we'll do that. So starter motor's all been painted black, so it's been spray painted. Everything else has all been powder coated. So everything else is all looking bang on. The starter motor has come up quite well. Quite pleased with that. That's all, all working properly as it should. We've tested it all up, that's all fine. And yeah, so no, I'm pretty pleased of how cool that looks. It looks so much better than it did before. I think it's gonna be more in keeping with the machine, especially the little bit of gold detail on the side. I know the whole petrol tank used to be gold and so did the starter motor, so did all of this, but we wanted to do it a little bit different, a little bit of a custom paint job. So yeah, quite happy with that. What else have we done? Oh yeah, nuts and bolts, lots of nuts and bolts. Every single nut and bolt from the project, I've put over the wire wheel and cleaned them all out. Someone said I should perhaps replace them with stainless steel, but I thought, well, actually, I like to reuse and recycle and restore and, you know, use everything we've got already. So all I've done is literally clean them all up on the wire wheel and oiled them all. So hopefully they won't rust too quickly. They won't last forever, but they're good bolts. They're too fair, they're probably better than the ones they make now. So I quite like them. So we've kept all the ones that are good enough to keep and replacing the ones we need to replace. Same with the back axle. Um, so, all, no, sorry, that's all the gearbox bits. All the gearbox bits are in there. Again, everything's all been cleaned up with the wire wheel and cleaned. Me being quite meticulous with these things, we've got box for gearbox, box for chassis, box for the front axle. So everything's all been separated. And I think I've got 36 little of those boxes all together, a little bit so out throughout the whole machine. So it makes it a lot easier to be able to put it back together as I come to it. I think, right, cool, on the gearbox, grab the box of the gearbox bolts and blah, blah, there we go. Put them all back in, screw them all up, do them all up, twist them, break them, whatever. Hopefully not break them, but anyway, we'll um, pick those pulp bolts up as we go through, bang them back on the machine again. Anyway, today we've got a lovely, beautiful array of bits that have come back from the shop blasters. I've got a little colour issue, but nothing major. It's probably our fault than it is anyone else's, but we'll show you that in a minute. But the all the bits down through here are all done. So we've, here we've got the main gearbox plate there. The, that bit there goes at the top of the gearbox. That's where your gear stick is. This is over here as well. Obviously, your goes around the steering column, and that's where your PTO lever goes there. And then we've got our tool tray for the back and where our seat bolts into and all the other bits and pieces. Some we haven't even unwrapped yet. So we're um, it's a bit like Christmas, unwrapping every single piece to see how well it's come out, but really, really pleased. We haven't gone and got the tires yet. We're 
out of time this week a little bit, but we're going to go and get the tyres, hope now in the next week or so, and get them sorted. But they're all there, ready to go. It's just a matter of time at the moment. So we're going to move on to, well, we're going to put the tubes back in, the tube frame chassis back through. So we join the back axle to the front axle and then build this back on. The other thing I've been working on is this. Uh, uh, it's really heavy. Uh, got it. That is the main, I don't know, what do you call it? Uh, we'll call it a phalange. There we go, that's what it's called. So there, I'm just gonna rest that there. So there, I've rebuilt, hang on, bear with. So yeah, this was the wibbly wobbly bits that we talked about in part two or three-ish thereabouts. So obviously a new bearing we had to put in here, so we've got a new bearing there. See how smooth that is now. Spinning like a dream. We've got the, um, there where that joins right into the back axle on that piece, onto the gearbox, sorry. And we've got our steering mechanism there has all been put back in again all this has been powder coated again i've powder coated another pulley we'll find out whether that's right or wrong but hopefully it'll be okay if not then i'll just have to wire brush and wire wheel out the inside of the pulley so that the belt doesn't grip too much or not enough i don't know we'll find out see if that's okay and then yeah obviously the main housing for all this is in the beautiful gold and all the extra little bits are all black and i think it looks quite cool i'm really pleased with how that's all gone back together so we're going to fit that back on but down here in the land of the floor we've got our gearbox and our front axle assembly. These are our little bits that hold the tube frame chassis on. But the issue we've got paint-wise is we've painted, we had a rail color, gold, and the rail color for the powder coat doesn't seem to have the same final finish because obviously the powder coat is baked on. So I'm thinking that's the reason why. But if you have a look at this up against the other, the colors look completely different. If it's not quite right, then fine. We'll take the back axle off and respray that, try and match that better. But we're going to put it all back together because most of this you don't actually see. It's only really the back plate. So I was going to do that black originally, but then I thought oil leaks and things going forward, you can't really see the oil leaks or anything like that on, on the black. So I thought it'd be better doing it gold because we're going to see little things like that. Now I'm wishing we'd done it black because of the color differences, but there we go. We live and learn. From now, you're going to watch me have a little bit of a montage of me reassembling this. It's not bad at all. I like it. I like it. Look at it. I could spin this all day. Just stay here spinning it. Turning, 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 turning. It's just so smooth. Proper smooth. I like it. Let's try gear. Reverse. Bang out some more. What should we put on next? Steering column. Wicked. Look at that. Oh, that goes there. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Need a little like shaft down there, don't I? For this one, obviously I haven't painted because it's got to go in there. So we're gonna, once it's in, we're gonna grease it all up so it stays where it's supposed to. For now, see if it all fits. Oh no, the powder coat is too thick. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to drill that out a little bit. Hey! Ooh. Not stiff. Oh, 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 Ready? Goes in and out. Like it's supposed to. Right, go and get the bits for that, and we'll put that on. Right, what do we do now? 
horse the next bit. Do them up, I suppose. Better do them up. Don't need loose gooses, do we? Loose goose! I love lying on the floor, lying down on the job, you know, gotta be done. Arrgh. Tight, I think that one's tight. Can't get the other one now. Found it on the top. God, hang on. Spanner. And it works. Look at that. It goes. Hang on, that's turning right down there. Turning left. <laughs> Look at that. Who knew? It'd be that easy to put back together. It's literally like. What do you call it? I don't know. Kit car. Oh no, a kit, a kit tractor. This is a kit tractor. Apart from without any instruction, just by memory and a few photographs. Just a few photographs. That's right. Looks like we're doing okay. Right, on to the next bit. So we've got our little track rods and track rod ends. Quite pleased, really. They're gold. We had them in stock. They didn't cost me anything. We painted the track rods black. So we've got a gold track there with black detail, and then we've got a black engine with gold detail. I think the combination is going to look quite good together, really. But we'll see. Let us know what you think. It'd be um, interesting to know. I know a lot of people wanted to have it all gold. And Bolins were really quite famous, having just one colour all the way through. Nuts, bolts, everything. I think they made the trap there and then sprayed it. But we've done it this way. Obviously, they didn't do that, but, you know, it looked a bit like it. So it's going to be nice just to break up the colours in between. So we bang these on and then move on to the next bit. <laughs> So we sorted out the brakes as well. That's all been done. We've even re-skinned re them, re-padded them, whatever you want to call it, with leather. Good old fashioned way of doing it. But we're quite pleased with the results. So we've got two layered layers of leather there, um, which is just literally made out of my wife's belt. Please don't tell her. She doesn't know yet. She's probably going to find out the hard way. But there we are. It's on there. And I'm quite pleased with how it's come out. But we'll see how well it stops once we've got the machine going again. So we're just going to whack them on a minute and see how that works. So we're going to have a nice bit of black detailing there, which is go on the top of there, and then the other one in underneath there, goes like that, and then our gear stick ball, which is there, press that one back on again, that goes through there like that, and wiggles about like so, and bad news, I've broken my knob. When we were cleaning the gear stick, my knob fell off and cracked, but, and it's only Baker-like, so, you know, and it's, what, 57 years old, so I'm not, not surprised it cracked when it fell on the floor. Luckily, I got a new knob, found off an old mower, so we're going to use that knob instead. Um, Rich has just given that a clean for me, and then um, we'll get that fitted on, which is good news. But right, let's crack on and put the gearbox plate back on the trap there. There we go. We have got a front axle, we have a gearbox, we have a steering column, we have our steering shaft. That works. We have our main drive shaft in pulley back in place. We've got working brakes, they're working now, which is great. And we have our gear stick back. Everything is coming together really, really well. It's fitting back together better than I expected, so I'm really, really happy. I think we're just gonna have to now do the rest off camera. So in part six will just be us surprising you with what the finished article looks like. We might do some other bits, I don't know. We change our minds as we go along. That's the beauty of being in control of it. But we're happy with what we've done. I don't wanna do too much because I want the final bit to be a surprise for you guys. We'll have the engine back in, the seat, the steering wheel, the wheels and tires. 
everything will be looking bang on. So we will see you in part six. Thank you for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please subscribe to this channel down here. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. And don't forget, we've got a website where you can buy lots of machines and spare parts and all different things like that. So have a look on there, hayesmachinery.co.uk. That's what this is all about. So we'll see you when it's done.